So in this video, I would like to explain about lesson plan. The topic of this lesson plan is about describing personality and physical appearance. In this lesson, there are two kind of instructional objective. The first one is general instructional objective and then the second one is specific instructional objective. The general instructional objective of this lesson is the students are able to develop their English language skills. And then the specific instructional objective of the lesson is the students can explain about someone's personality and then can explain about someone's physical appearance and then the last one is the students can use adjective to describe person's appearance and personality. In this case, the purpose of this lesson is after learning this topic, the students can increase their English language skills in terms of describing personality and physical appearance and there are three kind of presentation and activity in this lesson plan at the first presentation the teacher asks student to mention several kind of physical and personality it means that the teacher asks students to say any words they know to describe the physical and the personality of people the teacher can give some example if needed such as tall, pretty, smart, naughty, funny, and so on. And then after that, the teacher can write student suggestion on the board. And the teacher give more information about physical appearance and personality. It means that the teacher can explain that there are two kind of adjectives for describing people. Those are river to appearance and those are river to personality. Present the word personality and appearance and explain the differences to students. And then the first activity is teacher present a video related to topic. Hi, my name is Laura and I am 15 years old. I am an optimistic and energetic person. I have long curly blonde hair and blue eyes. I am tall and slim. Your feathers are so beautiful! Colorful and shiny. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes, they are. I wish I could have colorful feathers just like you. <laughs> Only I, the peacock, can have these beautiful feathers. Don't even dream about it. Mm. La, 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 la. Mm. Ha! What a show-off! Ha! Who is that? A long neck and cool legs. Looks quite elegant, but I don't like the feathers, though. <sighs> Hi, who are you? I've never seen you around. I'm a crane. A crane, huh? I'm a peacock. I have feathers that are shiny and gorgeous. Oh, right. They look good. Mm -hmm. The crane walked along the river. Huh, she wasn't even surprised. Look at all these colors of the rainbow on my feathers! What's wrong with yours? They look gray and dusty. Yes, you are very beautiful. But I don't envy you at all. What? Don't lie! How could you not envy these beautiful feathers? <laughs> I can fly up into the sky with my wings. I travel around the world and go wherever I want. Oh... I see. What can you do with those feathers? Grooming and showing off? What else can you do? It seems you look good on the outside, but not inside. The peacock felt so ashamed, he folded his feathers. Oh, gee! <laughs> <laughs> then after watch the whole video, students have to analyze the appearance and the personality of each character in the video using the sentence form she or he has and then she or he is for example she has a curly hair she is a young man and then the second presentation is the teacher give picture to the student and after that the teacher can ask the student if they know the people in the picture. The pictures could be celebrities or famous people. 
Students may recognize the people in the pictures. Ask the student whether they know this person or not by giving a question like, Have you ever met her? Or, Have you ever met him? And then explain that if the students don't know the person, the students can make assumptions about the appearance and the personality based on the information at hand. They can use the sentence form like, She seems blah 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 or he seems blah blah blah. The teacher can also explain that we shouldn't say she or he is blah 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 because we don't know that person of certain so we only can use it when we know our statement to be true. The second activity is present the question form, such as is she blah 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 or is he blah 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 and does she have blah 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 and then does she have blah blah blah. The teacher can separate students into group. Each group has two members and then give students pictures of them as people. Tell students to not show the picture to their partners and explain to the students that they are going to ask questions to their partners. The questions can be answered by yes or no. So the purpose of this question is to make the students trying to figure out who the person is. The students can ask a question like, is it a girl? Is it a man? Is he tall? Is he handsome? Does she has a blonde hair? Does she seem smart? Something like that. And then the third activity is about talking and drawing. In drawing, the teacher asks students to draw one of their families in the blank sheet of paper. And then, don't forget to tell students to not mention who is the person that they already draw. And after that, the students will presenting the picture in front of the class. And the last step is, the other students as the audience have to guess who is the person in the picture. And in talking activity is, the teacher asks the students to make a group. Each group has three up to four members. Each group will ask questions to another group and they will describe people they know. For example, one group will ask, What is your father like? And then the other group will answer, He is hardworking and very passionate. And then one group will ask, What does your brother look like? And then the another group will answer, She has short curly hair, brown eyes, and she is fat and pretty what is he like he is intelligent and self-confident what does he look like he is bald he has a black beard and a mustache he is thin and tall and he has green eyes how old is he he is in his mid 40s what is he wearing he is wearing a blue shirt and gray trousers hello dinner is here Cheer up! Stop being sad, young man! What is she like? She is optimistic, nice and patient. What does she look like? She has black eyes. She is pretty, tall, and rather plump. She wears her hair in a bun. She also wears glasses. How old is she? She is in her mid-forties. What is she wearing? She is wearing a blue uniform. Then? The closing of the whole activities, the teacher can repeat the subject materials and during the reflection of the knowledge that has received by the students, the teacher can give some homework to the students. So in this lesson plan, I use personal response approach, uh, which is in personal response approach contains several points. The first point is encourage students to relate the themes to personal experience and 
in the students' response to attacks or audiovisual media that already provided by teacher, and then encourage students to express feelings toward um, the issues of the text or the picture or the video that already showed by the teacher. And then for the activity, I use also personal response activities. Uh, so in these activities, um, you know, the teacher explained a text about the topic to students and then um, the teacher asked the students to brainstorming or think about the topic which is about uh, personality and physical appearance and uh, in this lesson plan, the teacher also asked the students to make a small group for discussions to make a discussions about the topic and then uh, in these activities also the teacher asked the students to write about feelings or reactions toward the text or the uh, topic that uh, already provided by the teacher.